Drew here, welcome to another episode of Nintendo Sunday. Today I'm bringing you Time Cop on the Super Nintendo. It's based on the 1994 John claude Van Damme movie of the same name. And this came out in 1995. Not sure of the character you play as, but um, you're part of the Time Enforcement Agency or Commission or something or other like that. And you have to go back in time to prevent criminals who have gone back in time themselves um, to change history to, um, you know, obviously further their own means. FBI. Now, it's some kind of digitised graphics game that's supposed to be John Claude Van Damme. I suppose FBI. it does look a bit like him. Whether or not he was motion captured, I very much doubt it. Uh, control wise, I see we've got. Kick, jump, um, punch, oh that's a rapid punch. Um, right, bumper does a bomb, I said, I did I don't know, that's weird. Um, and the many button fires a gun, oh dear. This is um, odd. Where did it say I was Washington? Um, well it says TEC, so I must be in the time enforcement base. Um, why does it look like a wreck? I mean, everything's falling apart, so it feels like a side of a ship. The music is just so inappropriate as well. I mean, why is it saying FBI? I'm not in the FBI. Dead end. Awesome. Um, yeah. This is this is just this is appalling. I mean, what's that? What is that kick? I've seen John Claude Van Damme do that. Pretty effective against the clowns. I have no idea where I'm going. There's no di oh exit. I say there's no direction marker to tell me where I'm going. So um, in case I wander around, they must be three minutes trying um, to and find the exit. Yeah, Washington Part Two, Tech 2005. The controls are very skiddy as well. Don't know where I'm going here. Um, down. Oh shit. Guess I'm going down here. Yep, not in the FBI. Oh. What's the purpose of that then? I don't know. Oh, the exit. Um, I mean, they just, I don't know why... There was a big fan of digital graphics around about this time, wasn't there? You had all your Mortal Kombat scene and stuff like that. But... There would have been downside better with sprites. What's that? That's a bomb. No idea how you use bombs. Um, yeah, this, this move seems effective if it, if it hits them. Oh, fucking respawning enemies, no. I just jump over that. Ah, just jump over. It's crazy. Oh, what's that? New enemy. Sod it. Go. Oh no one. No. Also, what is it with Nintendo games? And when you take damage, you get knocked back like crazy. It's not as bad on the 16 bit, but on the. Oh, oh shit. But on the NES, every time you got hit, you got knocked back. 
usually don't appear. I just don't know how to describe this game. I mean, if I'd have bought it, I'd have been well, well unhappy. I mean, John Claude Van Damme was one of the biggest stars um, back in the early 90s as well, so I mean. game based on his film would have been quite appealing to quite a lot of people, but this is just shambles. I just don't get why the... I mean, everybody says shovelware, like, um, on the Wii and stuff, but Nintendo have had shovelware, in my opinion, for since going back to the NES days. NES and the SNES had absolutely tons and tons of platformers with every single cartoon character, any cartoon character that appeared in the back of a serial packet, anything like that. They just make them into mediocre platformers. But I mean, what's that jump? Who jumps like that? I think I can quite comfortably say I've played a lot of the 16-bit games on the SNES and the Mega Drive out of those two machines. This is by far one of the worst, if not the worst, um, game I've played on either system. I mean, look at that kick on that white guy there. If nobody kicks with a leg that straight. It's like it's a white up toy or something. I'm not liking this level at all as well because you can tell what's going to happen. It's uh, it's unlike the other level, which was um, pretty much free roaming. This has got a set route, and you know what's going to happen. I'm going to go down a pit and have to repeat loads of the level again and beat all the same enemies I've beaten because they respawn. It's so wooden. I mean, the idea of digitize um, and motion was to meant to be improve the animation, make them more lifelike, and Christ. I think here they succeeded to do the complete opposite of what they tried to achieve. Oh, seriously, the stationary gun hurts me. Oh, Christ. A stationary gun emplacement, which is not firing. What do they do? Stub your toe on it. Seriously, game. Have words for yourself. No. Oh, that's uh, right. Oh, I've had it now. I've had enough now. That's it. I mean, right back to the start. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that here guys before I lose my patience for this. This is um, Tank Up on Super Nintendo. I wouldn't recommend it. It looks horrible. The music's horrible. The controls are horrible. It's just horrible. I mean, if you collect to get it, but um, make sure it's um, still sealed. Put that Nintendo seal on it and don't ever break it because it shouldn't be let loose. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video.